What a nice day today. I gotta go back in time to get Dr. Dick to this book. Here's a book, Dr. Dexter. Thanks. Now I got a book to read to the children. Later, at the hospital. Hey kids, here's a book. I bought to read to you. Here, how's it goes? It was a midnight jamboree, and everybody had supercars and things on their belts that looked like Texas. And when the cat came, he was like, oh shit, they took my idea. I was going to be my idea to bring potato salad here. But then, all of a sudden, a mean guy with super fun hands showed up and challenged Mike Tyson to a to who can go to prison faster challenge. So Mike Tyson went up and punched the officer with a pigeon. And so Mike Tyson won. And then a goat came and brought chocolate chip cookies without cookies. Also, did I mention that ghost was a robot? Because that's kind of important. So whenever one drunk the cool way, the only black guy called everyone racist and continued to eat watermelon and fried chicken. And then Carl came and told Steve that he was falling in love with the grass so much that he wanted to see the grass hint, hint. And so Carl married the grass and had children, and then they followed, filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against everyone who touched grass. And so Carl and Grassy and Grassy Faith became millionaires, and then took their money and bought a boat. Also, T Pain was there. It was so cool with a K. Then Steve Harvey was at as well. And when everyone had played Ghost in the Closet, a giant George W. Bush invaded New York City and flew an airplane into the World Trade Center again. Then when he went back to normal, he said, Jesus, please don't go back to Mars. There are no gods there. And Jesus was all like, oh yeah, and flew in a Jesus mobile back to heaven where he would crown a he would Crown King of Jesus Land, and his first order of business was to build a wall to keep all the illegal from coming into his country. This was all fell until an atomic bomb was dropped on him by Donald Trump. Kaboom! And so Jesus took his army and invaded the islands until Fred, who woke up at Ghost Machine Incorporated, was all like, oh, hell no, nah, and bombed Jesus. And then Jesus and his army went back and, uh, and was never seen again. Fred then went to have sexual relations with his wife, who was a giant ladybug that only wanted one thing, money, to buy robots to give chocolate to her dog, who was a giant asshole, who everyone was had even Jaws, who had just got out of prison for beating and being high at the same time. And when the ladybug got her money, she stole Bill children to grab her by the pussy. This made Bill Clinton so angry that he went super sad and they fought each other. Fight! And so Bill won 
and so he commanded that Gary would go and file for bankruptcy, and so when he did that, the son got very mad at Gary, and so the son sent a letter that read, Dear Gary, this is the hardest letter I have ever had to write and written before. I can't see you no more. And so I am weaving and weaving with Neptune. For now on, once Gary read this, the sun disappeared and went to King Neptune's house. And the sun caught his house on fire. So King Neptune, king of the ocean, called up his friend Bob and told him if he didn't get one million dollars that he would not go to his birthday party. This made Bob upset that he went to Cindy's house and Cindy asked Bob if they wanted to get married, which Bob said yes to and said they decided to go to Mexico to evade King Neptune, but they forgot to grab their Ruffy, worthless painting, so they went back to Cindy's house. When King Neptune killed them, and then Kevin woke up at the candy factory when it was full of ghosts, and it was so spooky that Kevin went to Mars. And then he flew an atomic bomb at of killing all kids. The end. Don't cry. I know just what to do. You're pregnant. What? You're pregnant. <laughs>